Sri Lanka, being India's closest neighbour, has enjoyed deep historical and cultural ties for centuries. Seven men from Tamil Nadu have been taken by the Sri Lankan Navy. But the long-standing fishing dispute between both the countries have claimed several lives, causing unrest in the Park Bay region. One fisherman was killed and five others injured after Sri Lankan Navy opened fire on the island. Indian fishermen have been fishing in the Park Bay region for ages and their fishing methods changed with the introduction of the bottom trawlers in the 1960s. Fishing by trawling is considered an unsustainable and unviable fishing practice which has resulted in depletion of precious living resources in the narrow and enclosed Park Bay region. In an effort to put an end to the persisting issue, recognizing deep sea fishing as a viable solution, the state and central governments have planned to replace bottom trawler boats with tuna longliner come gillnetter boats. This scheme was successfully launched by Honourable Prime Minister of India in July 2017 and the boats were graciously flagged off by Honourable Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu in April 2019. <laughs> Cochin Shipyard Limited, the largest shipbuilding and maintenance facility in India has been entrusted with the task of constructing deep-sea fishing vessels. Designed and built as state-of-the-art, high-quality fishing vessels, these tuna longliner come gillnetter boats are equipped with modern navigation and communication systems and advanced net hauling and liner winches. Other amenities include galleys, bio-toilet, refrigerated seawater system and stainless steel cladded fish hold to preserve the fish catch. In the Adinamina Padagala, RSW Yirkranala, Mingala, Alla Fresa Kundundi, Yngudi, a consumer gum, exporter gum, Teviana, quality to Kurukranala, Mina Adi Velaki Bode. In the Mari Adi Velaki Vikranala, Yngudi, a Valvadara, Munitramandrike. Owning a tuna longliner cum gilnetter is expensive for fishermen, as each fishing vessel costs rupees eighty lakhs. To make it affordable for the fishermen, a subsidy of rupees 56 lakhs is provided by central and state governments. Moreover, loan facilities are arranged through suitable banks for up to rupees 16 lakhs, and the rest rupees 8 lakhs is borne by the beneficiary. The fishermen are given hands-on training by SIFNET to handle tuna longliner come gillnetter boats. With the newly constructed deep sea fishing boats, voyages are successful and life changing, and the fishermen are able to earn an income of at least four times higher than their bottom trawling counterparts. Government of Tamil Nadu, with the help of the Government of India, has its focus on creating a sustainable, efficient, and systematic market for the deep sea catches so as to earn better value. The government has constructed fishing harbours at Mukayur, Kundukal and Pumbuhar for deep sea fishing boats. The harbour is designed and equipped with modern facilities in its premises, such as efficient storage and cold chain facilities, linkages to international markets and 
environmentally sustainable fishing practices which can revolutionize the deep sea fishing market. Alternative livelihood activities such as seaweed cultivation, cage culture, artificial reef and fish kiosk have also been established successfully to create regular income for the fisher folk in the Park Bay region. By establishing sustainable fishing practices using deep sea fishing vessels, the Government of India and the Government of Tamil Nadu have taken the right step to promote peace and harmony between the fishing communities of both the nations. In the Padagu Mulama, Yengalaka Yelangai Payame Ilama, India Perengadal Pavila Tolil Pane, Mana Nere Water Nanga Vandi Patolil, Anapunama, Patana, Padana, Kadala Kadanangala, Varuanga, Abdin Sulta, Wuru Nambike or Yergara, Nodal Engelka and the Nambike Ille, the Padagana Engelka and the Mulu Nambike Erke, Nalla Varman and Gadaki. Still in the Prussian Island, we live in the deep sea fishing Seran Alla, Yengalke, Mana Amedia, Rumba Nimadia Virke, Adi Neratale. Kadal Valata, Padaka Gurila, and the Algadal Fishing Sayer and Alla, Yingle Rumba Sandosamarge. This initiative offers a new ray of hope to fishermen living along the Park Bay region, ensuring a promising future without causing any harm to the maritime resources.